Come and join us at Universal's Cabana Bay. This is our first time staying here. We're going to show you all of the hotel amenities and the perks. We'll show some of the food options and the view day and night from Volcano Bay. It is gorgeous. Here at Cabana Bay! We got a beautiful view of Volcano Ooh. Bay. And we're also going to go swimming. We're going to go swim, yeah. show some food and the hotel amenities. Sounds great. Let's go. This is going to rock. We arrived in the evening after celebrating Mardi Gras, seeing the parade, so we probably got there at about 8 p.m. and check-in was super quick. And there are two towers that face Volcano Bay if you get that view. It's about a 10-minute walk from the lobby. It's strong. Holy, Holy crap! Oh. Holy crap! Oh my oh. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god. Wow. We got a really good view. Yeah, I think I think you should I think the next time you, you, we go here, get this one. Yeah. Amazing! Oh look at this way cooler than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. That's amazing. It really it's actually is. I think it's amazing. It's beautiful. Guys, look in the bathroom. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like oh, look, they have two. Oh, I think the bathroom is actually bigger because it's like a mobility a lot room. Of so. Look at the toilet. Yep. That's all they had available. <laughs> There's an iron and oh hangers. Look at this. It's safe. The bathroom is amazing. I know. We have a save for money. Yeah, we do. Universal has three premium resorts that have express passes included, but this one does not. It does, however, have early park admission, which is still awesome. You get a whole hour before normal guests. I will link our video down below of everything that is open. All right, so the rooms do come with a coffee maker and they give you just some like packets with condiments. There is drawer space. This is just all drawers, right? And there's probably, yeah. that's probably the refrigerator. It's the same standard one that you'd see any other way, anywhere else. And then lots of drawer space, so I got that. Depending how much you uh, have packed TV, we'll check out the channels later. Oh, there's my back. Door or Another room. separation. If you have a party of 10 or more, you can share a room. I found my this. bag. So it's delivered to your room until midnight. A lot of people were actually having a lot of pizza boxes downstairs. It looked wonderful, actually. This is a mobility room, so it might be a little bit different, but they've got a hair dryer, you know, obviously the sink with towels, so. Your standard items. Just a drawer space. Actually, use, they use bar soap, it looks like, kind of nice. And shower with a handheld shower. Okay, no, it's nice. Yeah. That's all. The, that's the only room they had left for the Volcano Bay view, but I mean, still a great room. I mean, there's a lot of room in here. Look at these huge windows. Look at those. And we'll show. Yeah, I don't, without the glare, of course. So first off, that light there is from my camera, not the moon, but it looks cool. Um, I did notice there actually are security officers that walk around, so I kind of was looking around at night, and I would see flashlights and things going on. I don't know why, but it was just fun to kind of look at. Volcano Bay really is beautiful, and it is such a fun water park. We have been once when we rented a cabana there, which was amazing, and we hope this year to go again, but we'll probably do a cheaper option than the cabana. And I love how it actually changes colors. It would go from red to blue to a gray. So really, really beautiful. So worth getting a Volcano Bay view. You can also rent these movies. At first I thought they were included and then when I went to select it, it said like 20 or $25, but they had a really good selection. And keep an eye out on Universal running Florida resident discounts because normally Cabana Bay is about 200 a night and we got it for 120. The bar is open from five to midnight. There's a lot of stuff open past 10 and 11 p.m., which I do love. 
The pool is open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. The bay line where you eat, the cafeteria is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. And even the shakes is open from 1 or 2 a.m., which is awesome. Next up, we're going to show the pool and the lazy river at night and during the day. So when we got there, we did see the sandbar and then there is a big pool as well. But the kids just wanted to get into that lazy river. It's a little chilly. That's okay. The Lazy River is only about three feet, so you don't have to wear those life vests, but the kids wanted to wear them. They like to float. <laughs> And it's a decent sized lazy river. It took maybe about 20 minutes to go through the whole thing. No, I can't. You're totally cool. <laughs> Look at me. I see. So is that comfy? Look at me. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you guys put my feet in the Hi, Bunkin. You're going to hit your pants. Big, lazy river. Yeah. I thought I'd stop it here, but it's not. It's not? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. It is. Okay, so what? It's actually, it's actually a little warmer in this one. Yeah. The main pool is definitely deeper. It goes from three feet to five feet. And we went back and forth a couple of times with it being cold. Once you got out of that water, you were freezing. One, two, three. But when we go to three feet, then no. All right, here is the kids' cheese pizza. It's a cute little personal pan. Those are decent sized. I mean, it's a personal pan, basically. That is the... It's gotta be the everything. And Here's the your barbecue. Yeah, the barbecue. Chicken barbecue. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Are you helping? Well, that's fine, guys, too. Pumpkin delivery. And then... Thank you so much. The uh, Caesar salad. So being completely honest, I would actually get the red oven pizza from City Walk and take it to your room. This pizza looked better than it tasted. It was just okay. It's not horrible, but you can get way better pizza at City Walk for the same price. The next morning, we headed to the Bay Liner Diner. That is the cafeteria for breakfast to get some food. We're going to show that. And it's like I said, it's about a 10 minute walk. Really pretty outside. Or if it's raining, you can go through the buildings. And again, being honest, the only downfall with this resort was we really didn't care too much for the food. The other premium resorts have amazing food, and these were just okay. It's great if you're there. But if you want a really good breakfast, if you're going to Universal Studios, we would recommend the Today Cafe or the Three Broomsticks at Islands of Adventure. Even the Croissant Bakery, the Moon Bakery is great. But if you're not going to the parks, then of course, definitely try it out here. There's plenty of drink options. They've got juices and milks in a Starbucks too, if you want something else. And they have a decent selection. There's a few different stations around. So we'll show you breakfast and then dinner later on. The first station, the deli seemed to have some sort of breakfast croissant sandwiches and you could get bacon, sausage, biscuits, and fruit with a lot of these. And then they had another station with waffles, Belgium waffles, another station for French toast and pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes for the kids. And then they had an omelet station. So there is a good amount, a good variety. But I'd say the Today Cafe is probably the best breakfast there. Kids got the chocolate chip pancakes and a side of bacon. I got in the omelet, which they I just kind of like asked what you wanted. It comes with the side. So I got a croissant with wood. That's a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. And side of fruit. You have side of fruit or hash browns. Another chocolate chip pancake. It was about 50 bucks for the four of us, which isn't horrible, but again, I wouldn't come back here. They do have a gift shop as well. A lot of the things you can find in the park, but I was on the hunt for specifically Cabana Bay merchandise. They have a, okay, so they have a Cabana Bay lanyard. It's like a card pack. 
this is all the Cabana Bay stuff they have. And Volcano Bay. Oh, that's cute. I think the other resorts really didn't have much. They have a kid's shirt here too. It looks like the Harry Potter logo. Oh yeah, that's cool. How much is that stuff? Hold on, buddy. This stuff you can buy all at the park though. Except for the Cabana Bay stuff, I don't see anything like unique. Starbucks, I have the normal stuff here. We just got coffees. And we're gonna go upstairs to see the bowling alley. So they open from noon to I think like 10. I do like the colors though, that's pretty fun. There's a physical fitness studio. And then the Galaxy they've got. Wow, a sample buy for 27 bucks. Classic burgers, 15 bucks for like most of the burgers. Loaded fries and salad. Woo! That must be like bowling awards and stuff. <clears throat> I guess. I mean, it's definitely nostalgia stuff. <laughs> Galaxy Bowl. It's kind of cool. It I'll have to look up the, bowling, sure. look. the history of that, I guess. Maybe there was a place called Galaxy Bowl. I'm sure there was. As much as I would love to bowl here, it was $17 per person. So that does kind of add up for a family of four. And four people is up to 75 minutes. If you have a party of three it is, or less, it is 45 minutes. We've bowled at Elevate, which is in Sanford, Florida, for about $30 for all four of us. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. which is their favorite. They have Narf Arcade, some sort of spinning, the Raw Thrill Space Invaders, Down the Clown bonus. And also on the second floor next to the bowling alley and the arcade, you can get a really good view of the resort. It really is such a pretty hotel. And right outside is the bus station, very easy to get to the park. We headed back to our room from looking around and we're gonna show you the lazy river and the pool in the daytime, as well as the Volcano Bay view from our room because in the daytime, you can really see it, it is gorgeous. You can even see a little bit of the volcano from the main pool. Housekeeping did ask if we wanted our room clean. Of course, we said yes, please, and they did that while we were at breakfast, so that was pretty awesome. We came back just to show this awesome view before heading to the pool. And Volcano Bay view was so great that I loved it. So we have stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel, Royal Pacific, and Sapphire Falls. I do say for the value, this is probably our favorite resort because it is a lot more affordable, we can stay a lot longer, and the bus really isn't a hassle at all but if you want to see all the perks of the premier hotels I will link those below and as well as Sapphire Falls which isn't premier but you do get early park admission I do think that all the resorts offer something unique they are all completely different so I do love that about each of them and stay tuned as I really hope we can stay at Portofino Bay which is the last premier resort that we need now back at the pool, you can buy these tubes that you can go on the Lazy River in. It goes from $9 to $17. The really cool thing is that you can bring it back and then they'll give you another one that is nice and dry and deflated. It's nice. Not like last night. Last Ooh. night was a little more. It'll take me a sec. Ooh. Yeah, it'll take me a sec on this part. Fine. The shoulders are the hardest part, I think. Yeah, I don't like ducking down. <laughs> oh, that's warm. Is it? Sapphire Falls and Hard Rock had a water slide, but we really did love this lazy river. Oh. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> it's the next one, right? Yeah. yeah. Do 
Cabana Bay did have a second pool, but it did say that it was closed. So unfortunately, I didn't get to see the other one. But it is a lot of fun. If you're a pool person, you're going to love this. And I would bring your own inner tube or floaties or pool noodles, whatever you would like, unless you want to buy them here. It is kind of cool to have a tube that says Cabana Bay. <laughs> After the pool, we got cleaned off and then we headed to the park for our Marvel character dining, which was awesome. Now, the buses arrive, I would say, about every five to ten minutes. It wasn't long at all. And then it's about a five minute bus ride. And one time we were waiting for the bus, another bus came up right behind, so there was no wait at all. I will say the water taxi is really awesome though too if you stay at one of the other resorts, but you can take the water taxi to Sapphire Falls and walk to Cabana Bay. We didn't do that this trip, but I have heard you can. And it drops you off right here in City Walk. When you go up the escalator, you are to the security area. It's super simple. Heading back from our night at Islands of Adventure, we headed to the new Shakes Malt Shop in Cabana Bay. It's right next to the Bayliner Diner, super simple to find, and they're open from 1 or 2 a.m. at times. It just opened in December of 2022. They have brownie sundaes, classic sundaes, but we really went for that banana split and then we're each trying a shake. The banana split was huge and it was $13 and then the milkshakes are between $8 and $10. For an extra dollar, Rick made his chocolate shake a malt and then we're trying a PB&J chocolate but a PB and banana shake and a strawberry shake. I really like the theming of this shake shop. It reminds me of a 1960s type of vibe and it's just fun to stop at after you've had a long day at the parks. That does taste like peanut butter and jelly, actually. Let's try the strawberry. The beet. Oh, it's great! Yeah, I know it. I do like this. I like Thank the you. peanut butter. You wanna switch? <laughs> I knew she was like, uh, we'll share. And this one just tastes like straight up peanut butter almost. Mm -hmm. Try your malt. I like that. That tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> oh, because that was a huge strawberry in there. That's why. It's okay. What's this one? It's strawberry. Yeah. What do you think? You think your favorite's the peanut, the peanut butter and jelly? And back to the Bayliner, just to show you what's there. In the cafeteria, you have the station where the French toast used to be in the morning. Now it is a cheeseburger station. They also have chicken tenders, a beef hot dog, or a chili dog. In the International Station, they basically had everything. They had a Brazilian beef, seared tuna with mango, general sauce, shrimp stir fry, and a jerk roasted half chicken. Now these could change, but this is what they had on the day we were there. And then this was the pizza. That was the exact saying that they can deliver to your room. You do have to tip if you do the room delivery or you can just pick it up here. And they did have mac and cheese and spaghetti and meatballs and chicken parmesan here as well. In the last station, the deli, they had a roast turkey sandwich, they had a hot Cuban, a Beyond Burger, and a grilled cheese. So some good options for dinner. And when we checked in, they were nice enough to give Jack a birthday voucher. So we got a free piece of cake. They gave us either an option of the chocolate cake or the cheesecake. It was it's nice that they do that so check in at the lobby and mention the birthday if there is one and maybe you'll get a voucher. I really hope this video was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions, comment down below. And a big thank you to Maddie and Lachey for helping support our channel. People like you help us to keep going and doing what we love. Hey, hey, and subscribe. Subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. Click either of these videos for the next resort you can stay at at Universal Studios. We have a total of now four we've stayed at and I will link our Vo Volcano Bay down below. So much fun.